Good afternoon and welcome to episode 928. The topic today is about freedom. How free, you really are, how free are you really? And also, well I should say the counterpoint to that is, where do you feel trapped? I'm going to offer some suggestions and some guidance and an invitation at the back end of this broadcast so you know what's coming, just to be prepared. And also tell you also where you can find the replays of these talks as I choose what they're about and you know where to find them afterwards. So before I jump in, hi. <laughs> My name is Barry Selby. I'm an inspirational speaker, spiritual guide, love and relationships expert, and the author of the best-selling book, 50 Ways to Love Your Lover, a book for singles and couples, men and women. I help women create balance in love, life, and business because I'm a passionate champion for the divine feminine, and that's what informs my work and also what inspired these talks just over three years ago now, called Messages from the Masculine Inspiring Your Feminine Heart. So today we're episode number 928. Um, and 928 actually is the number of a car I was very much a fan of and a, uh, it was one of my dream cars, the Porsche 928, just to be totally um, what was going through my head just then. And uh, yeah, I'll tell you back in where you find the replays because there's over 900 of those, obviously. And today we're talking about freedom and also the inverse of that, which is feeling trapped. Because you might say, oh, I'm totally free, I'm totally free. Maybe, maybe not. So I'm going to ask you a few questions that might provoke an idea, an insight, or an upset. <laughs> But also give you some ideas what you can do differently so you can transform your experience. Because this is not going to be about, oh, damn, it's so bad, it's so horrible, it's so terrible. That's never my intention. My intention is to, to show you where that might be going on, but also then go, here's a way out. So let's get into it, shall we? Um, if you haven't seen my broadcast before, by the way, these are never scripted. Um, the only thing that is written out is the title, which I put out ready. And as I did put in the title, this is part two of three. Because I do know I'm going to be talking about three different things. Yesterday was about freedom. No, excuse me, today's about freedom. <laughs> Yesterday was about balance, and today's about freedom, and tomorrow I'm just going to preview that. It's going to be about flow. And I'm talking about these three things because I'm launching something in January, which I'll tell you about later on in the broadcast, which is called BFF, which is Balance, Freedom, and Flow. So this is the part two Cliff Notes version, so you know what's going on, just so you have context. And also I'm doing this talk, as I said, no script on it, but I'm doing this talk because it's a way of me actually elaborating what I think I'm going to be teaching from and also give me inspiration for my writing my, um, well to be transparent, my sales copy. So bear with me as I do this totally by the seat of my pants. And that's actually one, of the, that's actually one okay, that's one of the um, indicators of freedom, by the way, is being able to do that. I have, it was funny because I was watching, watching one of my early broadcasts because the third one of my, my th number three, yeah, third one of my initial Facebook Lives from three years ago showed up in my feed today, like in the memories. And I just looking back at this broadcast and looking at the quality of, well, the lack of lighting and the lack of audio microphone, which I'm wearing, <clears throat> and also the content. I've come a long way <laughs> in that sense of doing all these talks. So in a way it's been very self supportive and selfish in a way to be able to do these talks. But what I want to speak to um, is where maybe your sense of freedom may be um, limited. Because the thing is, doing these talks for me has been an actual gateway to freedom. I was talking last night, I was actually at a uh, meetup. I'm guessing I'm doing a lot, this is where it's going to go. I, I will be teaching in a moment, so bear with me. Just give me some examples of some things that happened. Last night, I was at a meetup called The Homie Hookup, which is a bunch of, uh, of fellow relationship coaches get together once every four to six months. And we had the, the holiday one last night. So there were probably about 40 of us there, like the local LA people. Although some, some came from San Diego and a couple were in from Canada. Just remember who was there. And we we're talking about this stuff, and I was talking about the Facebook Lives, and one of the people I was talking to was looking, you know, has been watching some of my Facebook Lives, and was just saying, how can you keep doing those? Like, how can you be comfortable being consistent and doing this every day? And for me, it's it's really is a sense, one is a sense of freedom, and I'll get to that in a moment, but really before anything else, it's about service. And I posted a meme earlier today about that, about when you do things out of duty, it's draining you and wearing you out. That's one of the things about being trapped, and I'll get to that in a moment too. But when you do things out of service, it's effortless and easy and doing my Facebook lives has been that for me it's been a gateway not drug <laughs> a gateway to be able to express and serve I hope and it's nice to see my broadcast um, to actually share things that can be inspiring and and um, this is more than inspiring educational that's a good word for your life and for your relationships and, and by the way, the, the BFF course I'm going to launch, it's called a, I'm calling it a masterclass for now because I don't like mastermind. It's a masterclass that's coming out in January. It will be 
not just relationship specific. So what I'm talking about here is also not going to be relationship specific because I want to give you some insights that may help you in every area of your life. So the sense of freedom is the opposite of the feeling of being trapped, kind of obvious. And I'm very aware of looking back at my own life just to be self-exposing more, where I was in situations and circumstances where I felt trapped. And look back now, of course, with 20-point hindsight and go, I was so myopic in my view and so limited in my viewpoint. And so I'm going to offer to you the possibility that maybe you've got the same thing going on with anything you feel trapped by, whether it's another person, a situation, a career, an environment, a circumstance, whatever that is for you. If you're feeling trapped about it, one thing I'm going to suggest to you is to project yourself into the future, so to speak, to basically go down the road a year, two years, five years, whatever it takes, and look back and see if it really is holding you back or not, if it's really trapping you or not. Because that's the thing I look back, look back now, and things I was doing, well, some relationships I was in, no, not so much on those, but certainly careers I was in, jobs I was in, environments I was in, I felt this sense of being unable to get free, but I always did. So in one sense, it's not so much about knowing the how, <coughs> excuse me, it's more about, <coughs> excuse me, I'll try that again. It's more about knowing that you will be free that makes it easier to let go of the entrapment. Because this is the thing that we're facing in life, is a lot of times we think we're trapped by circumstance. I mean, I'm definitely feeling some pressure about the political situations here and at home in England that feel pressure-based. And so I watch myself being in a place of where am I free about that or am I feeling trapped? Because the thing is, I'm not trapped by the circumstance. I'm letting myself be trapped by the feelings about the circumstance. And that's the piece where you've got to watch what you're doing. Because it's very easy for us as human beings, I'm including myself in this, to presume a feeling of being trapped and not free because we see a, th see a, a situation circumstance through a certain lens. And I've been looking at what happened in the election in England last week, which to me is a, and I'm not trying to get too political, but it, is, it does re remind me of a certain um, repeat experience of what happened over here in 2016. And I suspect there's things that come to light about that. I don't know for a fact, just, just feeling it. But for the moment, I was feeling just trapped because I look at the fact that my, my European passport, my European citizenship, may revert to being a British citizenship come the end of the Brexit procedure, if it goes through. I've been holding it won't go through, frankly, because I like the idea of being part of Europe. But I was watching myself in a place of feeling trapped. Now, this is very personal, so it's not going to say necessarily speak to your own experience, but maybe you can overlay your own experience on this to see how I, I work through this, because I kind of have worked through this. So in one moment, I was feeling somewhat trapped by the circumstance that I couldn't control, because I can't control the passports, I can't control any of that stuff. But then what gave me the freedom was, I should say what was reminded to me about the freedom, because a friend of mine said this to me, who I know, was this whole experience has, how do I say in a simple way, one is transitory, it's not permanent, and secondly, and maybe more importantly, I don't have to be governed by it. Because, to be transparent, I don't go back to England very often. I'll be going back again this coming year because I, I want to see my father and see, and see my family and a few other people. But it's not something I do very frequently. I'm based in, in America. So that shift, that apparent door closing, which would in theory trap me, was an illusion. And this is one of the pivot points. When you look at your life and you think you're trapped by something, 90% of the time, I, use, I often say 90% of the time and nine times out of 10, it's kind of that proportion. The majority of the time, those circumstances, those situations, those environments we feel trapped by are actually based upon a feeling, or actually more accurately, a thought that is not accurate. Understanding that you have freedom in all circumstances is a leap for some people because it's too far outside of, comfort, of their comfort zone and recognition. It, there's almost a sense of comfort within being trapped, like you feel like it's being contained and it's okay to be that way. Because the thing is, when you start understanding what freedom really is, it can be overwhelming. And hang on, I'm going to play with this. Speaking of personal experience, when I have understood my freedom and embraced it, it hasn't been overwhelming, which for a lot of people I've seen that sense of freedom. It's almost like when you, <laughs> what was I going to talk about? When dogs get out of the house, they sort of go like, wow, well, go anywhere. 
it's that sort of energetic where some people feel that freedom is too much because for some people the idea of freedom comes with it the fear of having no boundaries and that isn't required that that giving up a boundary is not required the, as, as I said earlier there is this sense of being trapped on one end of the spectrum and free on the other end of the spectrum boundaries are not part of that in this conversation in this context I'm talking about here is that being free there we go that was the piece I was looking for feeling trapped is when you're out of control feeling trapped is when you can't make a choice to be free to do your own thing you stay contained or trapped within a circle of circumstance when you're free what really is happening is you get to decide the boundaries you establish you get to decide what containment you create for yourself it's not imposed upon you and that for me is what the real difference between freedom and trapped is it is trapped is out of your control freedom and therefore your own um, choice of boundaries is within your control fully and this gets back to yesterday of course it does this gets back to what I was talking about yesterday which is about the idea of um, balance being knocked out of whack when you're basically feeling that you're controlled by other people um, this is going to be about <laughs> this is going to be talking about codependency once again and I, I didn't really come back to that but it is Again, these, tri the script, these talks are never scripted, so it's the way it worked out. So yesterday I talked about the idea of being out of balance. It's when you're in a relationship with somebody, whether it's a romantic relationship, business relationship, or any relationship, where you feel yourself being somewhat... Um, what's the word looking for? Well, out of balance, frankly. Because they have control over you because you're giving them control. Because you, they're... Um, your, f your mood is affected by their willingness to love you, to take care of you, to respect you, whatever that is. And if they don't, you get upset, which means you're upset based upon them not doing something, which means you're dependent upon their interaction to feel good or not. That's what codependency really exhibits itself as in so many ways. There's other ways too. So moving to today's talk, and from the balance point to the freedom point, is when you place you know, a situation, excuse me, when you choose, choose, why is it choose? Maybe it isn't choose. When you discover yourself in a situation, it's probably better we're putting it, where you feel trapped, a lot of times what happens is you're enrolling in that conversation where trapped is what you're going to be putting up with. You're enrolling in the feeling of being trapped. And so you're being, in a sense, codependent upon the situation. Because that's, that, that entrapment, or that feeling of being trapped, is basically a circumstance that somebody else created. Maybe it's somebody you know, but it's somebody else created that situation. So you're basically giving your power to them by being trapped in the situation. Every situation can be um, escaped is not the right word but shed moved on from you have the freedom to do whatever you wish as a human being you have the freedom to do whatever you want within physical boundaries of course I mean you can't you can't most people can't teleport or fly without gravity um, most people can't breathe underwater it without having you know accessories but the freedom to choose what you want to do the freedom to have your own emotional expression the freedom to feel whatever the whatever it is you want to feel it's absolutely within your domain. That freedom, for a lot of people, is untapped. That freedom is a secondary reminder to, his, to let yourself off the hook of codependency. And in fact, that freedom is a potent part of the work when I work with clients more and more to discover for themselves that being free is actually natural. It's easy when you give yourself permission. Which is funny because I'm looking back at my, as I said earlier, so I saw the replay from my third broadcast back three years ago, show up in my newsfeed, and the first few broadcasts I talked about were called Permission Granted. So I guess it's coming full circle. Strange how that works. So what I'm letting you know about here is this is part of a masterclass I'm launching in January. And it's funny, it's taking me about four broadcasts to get to the truth of this. So yesterday was clearer, and today's even clearer than that. So I'm going to be putting some information together about that in the next couple of days. Um, I'll post on Facebook, so watch for that. If you want to get more information about what I'm launching in January, which is going to be called BFF, which is Balance, Freedom, and Flow. That's why yesterday was about balance, today's about freedom, tomorrow's about flow. These are the, these are the, the um, appetizers of <laughs> what's coming. So if you want to find out more about that, you send me a message over social media or I'll put a link in the comments. You can contact me and you can ask for more information about BFF and how you get them enrolled because there's going to be early bird special offerings and discounts and stuff like that because... I'm going to offer something. I know what the pricing point is going to be. I'm pretty clear on. When I announce it, there'll be a price point from January on January 1st onwards, but there'll be a discount if you sign up before January, and probably even one before Christmas. I'll see how it plays out. So I'm going to know ahead of time what my thinking is because this is not all written down yet. 
but I'm creating this as I go. And I want to make sure you knew about this because I want you to get the, the chance to get in early on it and jump right ahead of the line. So again, it's going to be called BFF. It's going to be three components over three months. Yes, it's going to be a month on each one because we're going to go deep on each one of these for, for balance, freedom, and flow. The end result is fulfillment. And when you have these three pieces in, in context, and I'll explain more tomorrow in the flow section, part three, you'll understand how fulfillment plays out in all three of these. So links will be in the comments for that. Chance to reach out to me for the support on that. Um, I, I keep trying to find a way to put my self-love meditation in there because I just do. So I'll put it in there again because I just talked about it. That was too blatant. But the truth is that finding balance, sometimes, that, sorry, finding freedom, get the right word for today, that claiming freedom oftentimes is about really willing to love yourself first because, again, that codependency thing oftentimes comes because we think somebody else is responsible for our feelings of love. When we love ourselves, we can be free. So the self-love meditation justifiably will be in the comments for you to check out as well. So that's my guided meditation. So those two links will be in the comments, contact form for the BFF court, uh, masterclass and the self-love guided meditation, which you can sign up for right there. The link will be in the comments after I sign off. Um, if you have any questions about this, if this is stirring stuff up for you, let me know. I'd love to get feedback, input, and even even thoughts that may be additive to what I'm going to create for you. Feel free to let me know, either in the comments below or with social media. Um, speaking of social media, I've got to segue this in a nice way. This is my daily Facebook Live. I do every day at 5 p.m. Pacific time right here on per my personal page on Facebook, facebook.com slash Barry Selby. If you happen to watch me here and you want to catch the replays, you can find them on my business page on Facebook, which is barryselby.author as opposed to Barry Selby. Um, Facebook, unfortunately, is not the most, um, what's we're looking for? Dedicated is not the right word. But Facebook doesn't show everything that I've posted, unfortunately. So on Facebook, on my business page, you'll see a lot of my broadcasts there because it's primarily what I show, share there. However, if you want to watch all of my broadcasts, you have to go to YouTube. On my YouTube channel, which is youtube.com slash user slash Barry Selby, please subscribe. There's a playlist on there called Messages for the Masculine where every single one of these is stored for safekeeping. So you can watch them there. And because YouTube is a bit easier at showing videos than Facebook is, you can search through by keywords and find the ones that speak to you. 920 plus this 928 broadcast. There's plenty of content for you to choose from to find out what works for you and to get some help in any area of love and relationships or life itself. Um, that is about it. I thank you for watching. Again, I invite your input and questions about this topic. I will put the links in the comments. You can check out my self meditation and also a contact form so you can find out more about BFF coming up in January. Um, it's going to be definitely worth getting in early because you'll save a lot of money and you're going to get some freebies that I won't be offering after January 1st. So get in touch soon. Um, that's about it, I think. I thank you for watching this broadcast. I hope this has made some sense to you. So this is part two of three. Again, part one yesterday was balance. Today is freedom, part two. Tomorrow is part three, which is flow. I saving the best to last. So I invite you to join me tomorrow, 5 p.m. Pacific time, right here. And uh, with that, I thank you for watching. As always, please, take care of yourself. I'll see you again tomorrow. Take care. Bye.